Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so excited to be here today with Dunia Hamdi, all the way from Germany. How are you doing today, Dunia? Thank you so much for having me, Tiffany. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. Wonderful. And if you could, just as we start, just if you can tell, you know, our audience uh, just briefly what sort of work that you do. Yeah, um, thank you so much again for having me. And the work that I do, Tiffany, I share some incredible things with the world. Um, I managed and I strengthened my understanding of understanding how we can change emotions on a very fast way. So the moment when we understand how we can change the way we feel, we will change our action. And when our actions are changing, we start to feel in a different way and we become creators of our own life. Yeah. This is amazing, Dunia. And I must share, of course, disclosure here, that I've been working with Dunia for the past, I think it's been five years since we began. Um, yeah. But we had done some training before um, with um, Robin Sharma, who is has written several books. He's, an, he's a motivational coach. And uh, that's how our, our experience began together. So, um, Dunia, if you can share today, because throughout this week, we've had the seven days of the Healthy Habits Challenge. And so um, I think that a lot of people have learned because of personal experiences that have helped shift people forward. So can you share what would be three things in your life that have really had such a great impact for you? Yeah, um, I haven't always been at that position where I am today. I was living an ordin a normal life. Uh, I was coming from retail. I was rushing through life and I was working um, very hard to get where I wanted to be. And I was a very ambitious woman. So for me, it was very important to take as much work on myself, to prove myself and to really rush through life. And nothing could stop me. Yeah, I was having my three kids. I was uh, creating the dream life kind of like that I was want I wanted back then. And then everything crashed and I had to stop and I had to realize the more I'm reaching and creating outside, the less and more empty I would feel from inside. And this forced me to pause and really have a look into my life, what I'm doing. And through that transition, for me, three things, if I look back now, three things like really stood out for myself. The moment when I paused, the moment when I start to look at things from the outside, the moment when I started to ask myself questions to understand what is the real perspective that I have on this thing. It didn't just happen overnight. It was uh, a workflow that I had to work through it. So one thing, number one, that really changed my entire understanding of life was being in the present moment. I opt out from that fast living. I opt out from other people telling me what you should do. And I started to choose what felt right for me in that moment. Yeah. And with that, I have always been, I would say, naturally an optimistic person. And as I approach the world in an optimistic way, some people say a little bit naive, I would always come from my heart. And I also changed the language, how I was talking to myself, because I understood that when we are in the present moment, it is so important down to the language that we talk and we speak to ourselves. Yeah. So pausing for a moment, and changing the language I talk to myself was a big game changer for me. Wow. So this concept of pausing and, you know, I, I say to patients that we need to either take the pause ourselves or the body will shut down for us, right? Um, and, and you had this moment too. So this is amazing. And to share that it is in the present moment because this is the only moment that we have, right? What we're doing right now, because we can be lost in the future or in the past, but the present moment is where we're living. And this is the moment that we have to seize. And I have to talk about the language um, that you mentioned that, that you change the language that you speak to yourself. And you, know, you and I have spoken a little bit about the words that we speak. 
and you introduced me to the term what abracadabra really means you know we we've looked at the origins of this word and it's as we speak so we create and so we speak to others that way but as we speak to ourselves the same happens so if we have that same repetitive thought that's saying i'm not good enough you know uh, i'm always worrying i'll never be able to get this done then those are the thoughts that we create but when we change our self-talk and our self-language, then our world begins to change. Absolutely. And the body is always listening. There is no moment where we can like uh, get through with the things that is not taking record within the body. And who better knows the language of the, the, the language that we speak to ourselves, how we manifest in the body better than you. You've been with people over 25 years, looking into the health and seeing all these patterns that are appearing in the body when we think we are not good enough. Things have to be hard. Uh, we need to change our feelings and we are not allowed to feel a certain way. We are not allowed to express in a certain way. Yeah. So this is a big game changer. And uh, once I understood that it was a um, consistent training, consistent reminder, I fell off the wagon so many times I had to come back. I didn't get it right by the first time I had to train myself. And then, of course, I have been trained to do the things on a high level because I was a doer. I am a doer. And uh, I was like, okay, I need to understand in a deeper level. So I really took on the knowledge of how the brain works, how the mind works, and how we create emotions, what makes us the way we are, and how can we change that? Yeah. And this concept of, yes, how we change and the neuroscience, and you and I have spoken in depth about the chemicals in our body and how the heart can actually change that chemical response that we have so okay yes go on dunia let's hear more okay. from you <laughs> okay so in my journey as i'm doing my work i started to look into lives of people and we started to figure out together that emotions are one of the most important parts to have us moving forward so i started to tap into the power of changing emotions gives you the privilege to sit back in the driver's seat and thrive through life, yeah? And we have been doing this in many, many layers. And you experience this as well, where we started to see that the real power within you, Tiffany, starts to enhance and starts to um, bring you to a state where you bravely start to have a new approach and share your entire wisdom that you have over the years with the people and the world is not black and white we have so many colors so many shades in between which makes the world the world and the life amazing and sometimes we have these blind spots and then we need someone from the outside that tells us or feedbacks us where is your blind spot yeah. And I made this um, a very powerful tool for people to reflecting back on them. That's the emotion that you are not seeing right now. And with a friend of mine, I really worked deep and we understood on a very fundamental way where we can change the information in the body and in the cell. And when I talk about changing information, we even went on another level. We are not looking into a change that comes from a human knowledge, what we study or psychology or any theories that we have been learned. When we talk about changing in emotions, the way I work with Oh, finding out over the years that we can go beyond what we want, we tap into the cell intelligence. This is an area where we have tremendous information, massive knowledge, where I speak to all the women out there, whoever was pregnant or had a baby, um, 
you as a doctor, Tiffany, it is a masterpiece of work that happens within a body of a woman when we are able to give birth to a child and we can grow a new human being inside of us. It's the most complex <laughs> um, creation that happens on this planet. But on the other side, simplicity is amazing because I speak for my pregnancies. As a woman, you can just lean back and enjoy that process. Yeah. So, and I am, I brought this example because I am looking into that intelligence that will take over the job and creates and give birth to the most beautiful human being that we can have, which is when we lean on this intelligence in the body, we can create and change the most beautiful feelings and emotions that are right for us. Yeah. And that's the change of emotions using the power of intelligence. This is amazing, Dunia. And I can just tell like, this is the journey that's led you to where you are today. You know, it's been an experience for you, but to harness this power of our body inside, I love the example of a woman developing a baby, right? It's a natural process. It can happen when we sit back, nurture our bodies, and then allow the complexity of a child to grow from a sperm and an egg into a beautiful human being. But that intelligence of the cell, and this is so key because I think in medicine, we, we always come to believe that health and healing are beyond ourself. So we need a pill, we need a vitamin, we need a supplement, we need something to help us to heal. But we know that we can create from within and that cell has unlimited potential, which is why even now in science, they're taking these cells and they can grow them to do different things in different parts of the body. But harnessing that energy and captivating that energy for many people, I think, it's beyond what they can imagine, but you and I now know this is now the next level of health and healing. Yes, absolutely. And I, I love nature and I copied that a little bit because I took over five years that when we met, I started that journey to look into the process. How can I help these great leaders to do the work that they want to do, but feel passion about that? feel empowered and feel inspired because when we feel inspired, we can deliver the best work that helps humanity and brings us forward as a human group, as a species, and where there is no differences in any levels of life because we are all living here this magical life and we want all the same goals that we really have the best time in our version ever on this planet. So as I was looking into this and we go deeper into understanding what is the real power that we can uh, look into, it's very complex. To come back, what I love to do, and I learned this from the company, I was a leader for a very long time of my years. Um, everyone knows that company is technology company that makes technical design that is very complex, very easy at the outside. And the design looks amazing. Things are very intuitive to uh, work with. And that's the simplicity that they break down. The same I copied for myself, changing emotions, using the cell intelligence. We made that so easy, accessible, that we now approached the power of the mind. So for us, when we take this journey on, all we need from that person is a participation in activating the intention and feeling moving forward with that process. So in the background, my team and I, we work and create a big change. But at the outside for the person, it really looks, and you know what I'm talking about, you sit there, you close your eyes, you set the first intention, and you allow the intelligence of your body to take on that journey. You are still part of it because it is your life. You can choose into that and you can 
uh, tune into the end product, to the end results that you are desiring. Yeah. So another part that is a game changer for me was um, making things very simple. And when I say very simple, I also teach my kids to do that. And I have three kids in the age of 9, 11, and 15, now 16. Um, was his birthday yesterday. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a new age. Um, and from the very beginning, I had to break this work down and make it super easy to understand for kids. When kids are able to understand that, everyone can take that journey on. Yeah. So with tapping into the power of cell, all we need is to understand how powerful the mind is and how powerful the intention is because the intention to take action afterwards is the key to keep, to kick off this work. Wow, Dunia, it really sounds like the way that you speak that this, your journey has also turned into your life's work. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> you know, you know, everything that you're describing, that you're living it, that you're, this, this is what's changed you. And now this is, you've taken all of the wisdom that you've learned and you've turned it into your life work. So if I can kind of overview some of the points, because there are so many wonderful ones, but um, the concept that we need to pause and settle into the present moment as we look at some of the weight, the things that have been such an important part of your journey. And I would reflect, these are also an extreme part of my journey as well, uh, when I slowed down to pause, that how we begin to realize we take the driver's seat in our life and we realize that we can look at our emotions and that we can and then make a response and we can change based on becoming aware of that present moment um, and being in the driver's seat. And then the concept of cell intelligence, that the body has this ability within inside it to be able to change, to be able to heal, to be able to manifest the life that you really want, and that it starts with having the intention. And then with that intention, having the, the simplicity of what's going to lead you to that next step that you really want to happen in your life for change. That is pretty much it, Tiffany, yes. <laughs> so again, so for me and for you, thank you for sharing these points. I hope it will resonate with a lot of the viewers that have been watching this week. And I think it's a really important way to round up our seven days of healthy habits. And also at this time, because I think people are all about, it's about change. What is going on in my body? What is important? What do I really want to have? And so what we've been working on, and I had said that this would be our announcement today, is that we are going to be running a special program. It's going to be something that I've never run before um, based on my training and based on the training of yourself, uh, Dunia. And also we're going to be joined by uh, Euphemia um, Franco, who's going to be coming to us from California. So we're going to be running a four-week program, and it's entitled Heal Through Your Heart. So the program is going to be launching in November. It's going to be running just for four weeks. Uh, we wanted to do this program now. I saw the need for this program. And I reached out to you, um, Euphemia and, um, and, and Dunia, to help me with this program. Because with our combined uh, resources together, what I've seen with patients is there's such a great demand now for people that need to heal. There's so much um, trauma that individuals have been through, in particular women that I've been seeing. Um, and there's unresolved grief that's within the body. And we know that, and I, I've seen from my years of working in medicine, that I can give a short-term treatment. And that treatment is going to help, you know, to overcome a very mild, you know, an illness. Um, but if we really want to work, look at resetting the body and to take people on a a level that they've never been at before to really get them to ultimate in health, vitality, just feeling so good that that takes going deeper. And so this is what we're going to do with this program. So we're just running it for four weeks, right, Dunia? That's correct. 
So this will be our starter program. Um, it's going to, you're going to be, those that are going to register for the program, uh, we're just going to begin to tap into this innate intelligence of the body. So it's going to be run twice weekly. Uh, we're going to be doing this over Zoom. And there'll be more instruction, of course, as we come through. But I just wanted to launch that today. Um, it's going to be starting on November the 18th, which is just in about 10 days. Not long. I already have a few of my patients that are kind of pre-registered uh, for this course. So anything else that you would want to, just as we're going to be launching this, Dunia, for the individuals that are thinking, would a program like this be for me? Like I've never done something maybe a little bit different before. And um, what would this be like? Okay, so what is very, very important, and we need to be very um, clear on that for everyone that would love to sign up for this. So the main person that is carrying this program and the initi initiation is coming from you, Tiffany, um, is that you will be part of Tiffany's program. The cherry on the cake that we are bringing in here is that through the expanded knowledge that Tiffany trained herself in over the years is that you are now able to access a level of knowledge that you might won't understand at the beginning, but that's not the point. As you are going through this journey, you're going to start to understand that there is a power source within us that can change your life in so many levels where technology and medicine are not developed yet to tune into, but we already have that source. So for everyone who was trying to create health in a different level that hasn't been as successful as maybe they wanted, what we are doing here different is we are not problem fixing. We are working goal oriented So we are tuning into health and vitality. Guided by you, Tiffany, understanding that big knowledge that sometimes we have to look into Western medicine, support the body, bring it to a level where that flow can easily take place. As we are in that place, we then can which our part comes in, give that boost that you can use your cell intelligence, that you can use your power yeah, to keep things going on a higher level. So everyone who is interested in feeling better, interested in feeling a rush of energy inside, maybe wants to create a honeymoon effect for a lifetime, like Dr. Bruce Lipton's amazing book, he shares with us and how we can live the honeymoon in an extended time. For everyone who maybe went and saw many different doctors who cannot find anything in tests because all the tests look fantastic, but the feeling that the person has is just different. It's not there's something wrong with you. There's something that is just untapped people that didn't find the right tools to find the information. Also, this course is for people that are fed off talking about problems, don't want to look back into the childhood traumas, yeah, and they just want to move on. People who want to make a change without reopening a pain, re-looking re into traumas and dramas in their life, just to draw a line in the sand and move on, yeah? How is this experience gonna be? You are going to guide the people, share some information and knowledge because knowledge is important. Knowledge is power. Used knowledge is superpower, yeah? So we need your knowledge, to share with uh, the participants, then we are going to help you to activate this power from within. And the superpower comes in when you can live this moment of change, of things are easier, they feel more inspiring, they feel lighter, the colors change outside. You start to feel maybe um, kinder to the people outside uh, that maybe hasn't been the case before. Yeah, so we are looking for people who really want to make a change.
from a comfort of their home online and uh, trusting you, Tiffany, with all the knowledge that you have. And um, yeah, in four weeks, we can do a big change. To sustain that, we will share, I think, these information later on. But a great kickoff and a gift for us in 2024 is part of tapping into your cell intelligence and starting to create in life and stop problem fixing. Yeah. That was a long I, answer, right? <laughs> but it's it's wonderful, but it's so important that it is a line in the sand and that it's all about action-oriented steps once we set the intention. So it's an act of creation and this is fun. And this is gonna be um, the feeling that people have. It's gonna be this joy and the hope and this is what so many of my patients have when they leave the office is that they have hope that things can be do better, that will be better. And I know for those that register that they're going to come away with a much greater perception and awareness and joy in life than when they started the program. Absolutely. <laughs> so thank you for sharing and thanks everybody. So uh, just to let you know, so the program is going to be starting November 19th. I'm going to have more specific details um, tomorrow on the Facebook page, uh, but I just wanted to, and I'll email that out to the others that are um, have been following through email. And I just wanted to say thank you, Dunia, so much for being here with us today to wrapping up our seven days of the Healthy Habits Challenge. It's been such a great pleasure having you here. Thank you so much. It's an honor to serve you, an honor to be with you. And I can't see you guys to kick off this journey. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> thank Bye you, Dunia. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.